Yeah, they? it's a nice, aren't they? Expensive, mind you. I got the £190 a kit. John Deacon with his Beach D18 and Peter Ford with his Douglas D3, DC3. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Comes the wacko down now, though. We're running five minutes behind schedule at the moment. Nothing to worry about. We can make that up. No bother. Now, this cloud cover we have at the moment here, people, is exactly right for us. We really don't wish the sun, truly honestly, to be at us because it makes it hard to find us. So, you know, a bit of cloud cover. Not such a bad thing, but extra 2.30. Tony Collins owns it, and it's flown here by Gary Peacock, but watch it, because... Sid Cross, please, and John Deacon wanted. Watch this take off, though. Watch, watch, watch. Now, what about that? And look at that smoke. <laughs> Every packet carries a government health warning, you know. In the hands of our carry, it uses up one heck of a lot of fuel, this aircraft, when it takes off. It takes off weighing 26 pounds, and when it lands, it will weigh 22. That diesel fuel here in the hands of this gifted, talented pilot, left and right flicks. Look here. Oh boy, I love it, I love it. The extra 230 here, 96 inches wingspan, and a result of three years of work by Tony Collins, that brilliant bogger out there, flown by talented guy, Gary Peacock. Peacock. Sorry, Peacock, I call it. What's he? Sorry, I'll start again. Flown by Gary Peacock. That's it. Got it right. The teeth are in. Apparently. I must confess, I was a bit shocked when I had to pay 160 quid for a crown the other day. There you go. That looked nice, though. Look at that snap flick there. That's called a Hanno screw, that maneuver there. Nice. Love it. Foam wing. And it's uh, painted in two cut. Gets worse, doesn't it? Two pack. Car paint epoxy. Power. Gary, Tony, Lorna here, two children. And uh, our Tony medically retired now. Smoke on again at the other one above us here. Bills. Flies as 
well. Uh, another one needing smoke, I think, here, don't you? Hi, Jan, just saying hello to Philip, Phil Durant of Skyway Models here today. Welcome, Phil. 24 hour answer phone on that. Skyway models, of course. And they sell every sort of aircraft in the whole wide world. Say hello to Terry for us, please. Five to one. your submarines here, I've been asked to say. Are you here, Alf? Your submarines here. All right? Well, the devil's a submarine doing it at an air show. <laughs> there you go, right. Simon Stegel with his decoder. Seventy fives on this decoder. Go and see our inward models. Here it comes. Fixed undercarriage for twenty pounds, apparently. But there you go. Super custom seventy fives. Go and see our David. David Handy of inward models done so much for the fiftieth anniversary of RM. Glass fiber fuselage on that decoder. Inner wing panels built up there, outer wing panel, uh, outer, outer wing, that's your master. <laughs> I'm going to try again. The outer wing panels are foam. Oh, well, it gets worse, doesn't it? Dear, oh dear. Uh, high above us, this magnificent beach expediator. Expediator, expedit. I got a correction to make here on my running order, which hasn't been amended, my running order, my apologies to you. We were going to have a twin jet on my script, but it's been changed. And instead of that, you've got some heavy bombers instead. So uh, we'll give you more information about that later on as and when it comes. <coughs> my script has not been amended here with Ank this weekend. And away he goes. On holiday again, as I say, smashing chap is dull. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Walker has made it, of course. The other Fury. Here she comes. slots here uh, being done by somebody and Mr. Fagan never told me this. Uh, 11.50 slot. Now we're on the one o'clock slot. That's bringing you up the gate. Here. Now we've got Dole here. Jack Morton with his Mustang out there. Look. Jack, the winner of many, many competitions and full-size pilot. Coming round here, look at the cockpit on this Mustang. Coming round now. This one. laser engine. Fury of Dolph Shell, visitor from Holland. And the Hellcat of Martin on final there, landing. Aircraft carrier type aircraft list. I've just been told by Neil that when are you going to do this, Neil? Four o'clock. For those of you that want to see engineering at its best. Over at Paper Aviation, which is where we're on our left-hand side here. Where are you, Cap? Cap Richardson? Paper Aviation? Are you here, Dee? Give us a wave. Hi. We have uh, a four... Is it a four-cylinder or six-cylinder? Eight-cylinder engine being run at four o'clock this afternoon uh, on the Regal Eagle stall, all right, where Neil is having his laser engines. I've just been handed uh, the Livesey DL5 here. When is that going to fly? Do we know?
a mother that one has seen sawing from side to side. And there's so much advertising on behalf of Glenn Bottles and Rip Max and Enya UK, Paul Heckles, of course. Look at that one going vertically up in the sky. Cat two, three, one there. Look at that screwing down the water. Somebody can fly that well, can't he? Showing the first of it here. I say Glenn Fletcher started his business here some years ago when the recession was at its worst. A, uh, well, we have different wingspans attached to all of these aircraft. That uh, Glenn started. He's got the Sukhoi SU-26 airplane. And the uh, Cat 231, an S for 300 is it? All uh, very good aircraft indeed. What he does is he makes some of the different sizes so that you can choose yourself which ones you want. All flying on the right hand side here. All echoes to floating circle now. A lovely flick snapping here, very push out there, look. On the cat, two, three, one, and then screw up the top there. And uh, Paul Eccles does the whole rolling bit here, incredible. Dave White wanted, please. Or day twelve, break. Thank you, Dave. <laughs> Very low inverted run coming up. Why well, they call that low? They should have looked at that Whitby bomber a while ago. That was low. Getting interjections on radio links here. on shot they are but they do have racing with these things i can assure you when we have our british national championships you know that uh, on our tickets by the way run by nationals over the august bank holiday yours truly will be there on the right hand end of the flight line we'll have a lot of fun we can have a jet there we're gonna have a raffle and anybody winning it as long as they've got a beast certificate or know a maiden's cop one they'll be able to fly a real jet gas turbine so be come and enjoy that and 2.40 slot now, I've been asked to announce, which is, turn my page, Ian Turney White, please, Jim Holdsworth, every one of those Regal Eagles flew, every one, it's ultimate, here being flown by John Tappin, this superb, flight. oh look at that, way he does that, Roll one way and roll the other. See that? Look, that's a bit of an odd manoeuvre, isn't it? Then the other way. Look, he's a brilliant flyer, isn't he? And back to the horizontal there, and a big snap there. So clever. A joy to have him. You must be proud of him, Peter. There's the governor out there, Peter. Look, Varro's models. Hey, from London. Oh, London, smashing fella. Cockney boy. Jack out there, look where the Thomas Morse, nice name, isn't it, that aircraft? Thomas Morse here, on the uh, game by now, look, this one, American aircraft. He does make a lovely aircraft, this fella. They say he flies with the barnstormers. And uh, look at this just taking off here, another half scale beauty. And the end turning white here. Funny a racer that is. Another king engine. 
very nice. Get a good position for the next act which is on after this, which will be the pulse jet. Start it from Tom right out there. Third scale has built. 30 cc Super Tiger engine fitted in that one. That's a pretty check that That's their signature tune of the Go Squadron, which they use when they do fly this pulse jet. Now, those of you standing beyond the lines, all right, can you sit down, please, all right? That's one started. That's just one.
and the fire extinguisher. White hot, that titanium on that exhaust. Those twin jets running on methanol, nitromethane, benzene, silver figs. Here he comes in for his landing. Are you ready for this? Hang on, you guys. Just a minute. Hang on. Hang on. You ready for this? Peter it is. The team leader, Johnny Greenfield and Vic. I want you to put your hands together for the best they're British. Come on, the Ghost Squadron. Come on. What a team. Uh, when the post it went, you know one of the engines went out, right? It was really lit. Let's watch the red arrows, shall we, again? Go 45. They're going at 26,000 revolutions a minute. It takes about 50 seconds to get on song properly before they really get up the power. But on the left-hand side is Stephen Bishop, pilot extraordinaire. And on the right-hand side is Paul Heckles. But watch these two. They got this magic together. with Stuart who's live to Stephen. They hear the pilots talking on these two red arrows here. There should have been three. And sadly the third one has gone through the engine. Alan Greenfield, the Western UK of Pico, is not being able to come this weekend. There will be three of them when they get their act together. What about that? Everybody. And I mean the cream. And I want you to really rock this ground. Whistle and shout and holler. They're British boys. The star there, landing as well, along with Stephen Bishop. Paul Eccles, come on, come on! <laughs> and they're selling goods. But they've got to stand by the museum here. And uh, they'll be landing back by the dark green. Hang on. South on a cool as well. The laser above here by Peter. I'll go flying above. Do you know this wind's turned right about, doesn't it? It's come up behind us now. Okay. Well, I'm blessed. So, here go. 
and see the county air ambulance at Cosford here. They're selling goodies behind us. Well done, Stephen. And Paul. And we're coming up to 20 past three here. Don't forget it. I'll now do the quarter to four. But if you go over to Neil Tidy, uh, with Neil Tidy over at the paper aviation stand, it's the left hand side behind the flight line here, you'll see the superb BH engine. The last airco didn't mean the cage. Yeah, the younger engine, the younger in the cage. There. Several thousand of these competed before the end of the Second World War in 1945. They made super versions of it as well. This one with the twin rudders coming in behind. Simon Steggles, there it is, the beaches in the front. We carry nine passengers. And the beauty of this twin with the twin rudder is it can carry nine passengers for no less than 1,530 miles, which is some aeroplane indeed. BGX 35s, two of them. And Robin Woodhead, this beach expediter. Converted to ignition. Oh, it's 35 BGX engines there, coming round now. Finish your last laps, please. All fields are done.
They look the part, don't they, on, on a lake of this size? Yeah. Whatever speed you're choosing to run at. Here's one of the latest boats from Mobile Marine Models. Um, this is about his fourth time on the water this year and she seems to be handling pretty well. She's been driven by Mr. Faber from the Aiden Sodbury Club, who's putting her through her paces. I told him it wouldn't reverse, but he seems to be making out okay. The other boat we have on the water is an open launch, cream in colour with a white funnel and a little man standing at the bank. Um, this boat has just come back from Poland where it was entered by Keith Bragg of the MPVA in the Naviga World Championships and she took the gold medal in the steam class and asked to do a demonstration run after the regatta. He went round the manual. Merci, monsieur. Oh, look at that, just taken off. This is a tiny friend. Somebody's car alarm sounding over there, look. Well done, you guys. Thank you very much for the nap. Yeah. Hey, what about this, then? It's flying up here now. Giuseppe Bastioni. He's from Cornwall. No, he's not. He's from Roma, in Italy. And he's flying this unusual aeroplane up here, everybody. Look, the V-tail. And he looks like a um, dragonfly, really, doesn't it? Oh, it's called the dragonfly, too. And it's 54 wing wingspan, 54 inches. It's got an OS FS20 on it. And welcome to you. Got some lovely ice cream here. You know, you ought to have a taste of our ice cream. It's pretty good. What's his day job? Oh, he's an aeronautical engineer. Very clever man. And he's married to Francesca. And got a little boy called Leonard. Oh, Leonardo. Of course, it is Leonardo. It's got to be Italian. It's Leonardo, like it's spaghetti and tobacco. Very good. Okay. Um, you be a different man. Oh, well, if you move the people to this side, by the way, she'll be right. Derek's just telling me that uh, courtesy of the club here, the East Arm Club here, which has become world famous, of course, here, and getting a bit international guests here flying from uh, Italy. Thank you for coming and space. So, you know, what we're saying is that the pilots here, the best flying of the Steve Webb models here, and also here on the uh, Ritmax models, Kyosho Futaba. In your UK sales, look at that show in that one. <laughs> Doctor, he is a brilliant fly, but watch his aeroplane in the middle here as Simon enjoys his flight. Smashing young birds, you know. The V8 four-stroke engine going in the marquee over there. Eric Whipple has got an air disco, 1920s, in the model tent over there. He's running this uh, four-stroke V8 engine, if you're interested in seeing it over there, right? He runs it from time to time. Eric Whipple. Got Richard Seaman here, the safety officer of the BMA British National. He's done it, everybody. What about that? Did you see that? 
Well done, Paul. Unbelievable. Can you do it one more time, Governor, please? You watch this flying. He's out, out of this world, this young boy. Gifted fella from the Wirral. Liverpool. He's not a squirrel. Posh end of Liverpool. Now watch what he does here as uh, young Simon flies around his rolling circle over the far side. Now look here. Uh, a young little lad, lost lad, his name is Timothy Taylor. And he's with Sheila. Where's Sheila, Bobby? Where are you, Sheila? Got a little lost lad. Timothy sitting down by the DB sandbag. Okay, Timothy. Don't worry, son. You've got the posh sheets. Okay, Richard, Richard Seaman, the British Model Flying Association Safety Officer at the National Championship. Don't you dare forget it. The we're over the bank of the August. We'll see you there. On the demonstration line, of course. Well, Ready everybody, can Paul do it this time? Look here, this gifted, talented flyer, look here, treats his head. What about that? Come on, put your hands together. He's a great guy. He's the cream. <laughs> Enya 45, Enya fitted on there. He flies on behalf of Enya UK. Then we get it. Meanwhile, these two watches for the people on the left hand side here. Look, this star from Liverpool, Paul Heckles, his name is, flying on behalf of Steve Webb Models. Look, and he makes that aeroplane act like a helicopter there. Look, he's blooming careful and clever. Look at that. Hey, give him a clap, everybody. It's an act he does. Now, Dave Lewis is here, and we've got the team of people here that are. Ready to go, thanks, Steve. Uh, don't leave it there, Steve. Lace, you're going to take over for me? Yes. Now, this young lady is going to do the chat. When you're ready, my dear, we'll give you the radio. Right? What's it reading? How many? 18. How many can you go at, Dave? More than 18, all right, OK. Well, you know, it's a long way over to Tipperary, mate, all right, over there. Yeah. Well, you're going to watch some famous, famous, famous boys here, girls. Got to say girls, well, and girls too. And anybody can do this pastime. You go and see them. Dave Lewis there, he's the boss man on this team. And every time they drop these people, they get 500 quid in the cash in a hand, each one, separately. Something like that, any boys, girls? And they're a great favourite here, border to Wales and everywhere. And they're high qualified, very highly qualified skydivers. So our commentator Liz will be taking over with the radio mic. But uh, you'll be hearing them drop as we talk. As I say, if you want to hear them chatting, uh, they're coming over to the middle of the field with their helicopter. Live, so over to you, Pat. Good afternoon, then, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to our first um, parachute display this afternoon. You can see the team there out in the arena, ready to um, board the helicopter. Here comes Simon now, the helicopter pilot. Um, in front there, we have Steve Porteous. He'll be leading the team. Then behind him is Chris Jones, Pam Daniel, and then Dave is going to get off the, head, the aircraft last.
going to do is he's going to put out a cross. Um, it's safe for them to land. Um, it's not as many people think a target, although they do like to try and land as close to it as possible, but as I say, it's not a target. Okay, Liz. They'll climb up to about 2,000 feet, and they, they do it, the team leader will drop a wind drift indicator, or windy as we call it. It's a long-weighted paper streamer, um, usually uh, Dave uses one that's yellow and red, just easy to see. Um, he will drop that from the aircraft and he will watch it all the way down to the ground while Simon circles so that he can actually calculate the exact point to exit the aircraft to gain maximum benefit from the, the winds that, that are under there. Um, because often the wind direction um, higher up is different to that. Okay. You see, they'll be, they'll be flying across shortly now to drop the wind drift indicator. So if you watch the aircraft, you'll actually be able to see it, see it leave the aircraft. Now, Simon Wright up there, how are you? Come back to the crowd, everybody. Simon, the pilot? Hello, uh, very difficult to read you down below. We said they've got an awful lot of wind noise. Sorry. There we are, there's the wind drifting from the case off. 2,000 feet, we copy that nice and clearly up there. Simon, come on, grab. No, we don't pop out. Take a stay 30 clear, run in and drop. What you need to do, ladies and gentlemen, is watch for the smoke trail because Dave is wearing a smoke canister attached to his leg and he will pull that canister just before he jumps. Missing out, Simon.
dead head on, Simon. We're loving you coming into us, old buddy. Everybody's watching, ready to wave. Copy? Stop, switched off. What about that? A lovely drop there, Simon. We enjoyed that, buddy. You're nice and proud. Yeah, that's just a couple of years. Just pick up the 